This is a Mark II Astro Compass. Obviously the easiest way to obtain the magnetic heading is to use a magnetic compass, but there are times when a magnetic compass is inaccurate, such as during climbs, descents, turns, or near the polar regions, or if the compass is near a large metallic or magnetic body. It is useful to have an astro compass to confirm the accuracy of the magnetic compass. There are several pieces of information that have to be determined prior to using the compass. These include your longitude and latitude, the time of day, and the Greenwich hour angle and declination of the celestial body being observed, whether it be the sun, moon, or stars. One way to obtain this information is to use the air almanac. And one simply puts in the declination and the Greenwich hour angle as obtained for the correct date and time and we subtract the longitude from the Greenwich hour angle to obtain the local hour angle. However, there is an easier way to do this using the iPad with new apps that are available. This is an app called Easy Almanac, an almanac for the iPad. And you can see here that using the iPad's internal GPS, the latitude and longitude are obtained for you. You simply need to input the time into the data field. And when you solve for this, it will tell you what the local hour angle is, in this case 100 degrees, and the declination, which is 13 degrees and 56 minutes. First, we set our latitude to 45 degrees. Next, we saw that our local arrow angle was 100 degrees. Finally, we saw that our declination was approximately 14 degrees, and that is set here. Now, having set the astro compass up, and using the sun as our celestial object, we rotate along the azimuth until we see the shadow generated by the sun line up with the markers. This gives us our new heading of 240 degrees, provided that the lover line is oriented along the longitudinal axis of the airplane. 